concrete and foam structures of Monticello would like to put you in a new home or office made of polystyrene foam. Let's listen. Thank you, Chris, for being out here this morning. Uh, uh, John Barge and myself are with a company called CFS Concrete and Foam Structures. This is a company that makes a foam house kit uh, that is a very energy efficient house and uh, costs about the same as a stick built house and uh, uh, has uh, more than double the energy efficiency. It has an R rating uh, of 48. This project started uh, over five years ago uh, with Drew Foam and uh, John and I now have the rights to uh, building this, this product and uh, we're continuing it on and uh, it is uh, an amazing product and it's, uh, it's where the future is going to be in saving energy. Well, just a few basics about the house that make it so great is, uh, like I said earlier, the cost uh, compares to a stick-built house, but the energy uh, savings are tremendous because you can get a uh, $4,000 rebate from the government because it, it is a five-star plus energy rated house. Uh, it has a wind load rating of 150 miles an hour, and what makes that wind load rating so great, uh, or what enamels us to have that wind load rating is the fact that we have a galvanized metal strap that is tied to the slab on this side into a turnbuckle, and it goes all the way over to the other side, and the whole house is strapped down to the slab. So this house would probably stand up better in a tornado or earthquake than, uh, uh, than most stick-built houses, and the 150-mile-an-hour wind load rating has been uh, approved, uh, verified by outside engineering firms. Uh, that is the rating in Florida for hurricanes. Uh, some of the other benefits of the house is you can uh, design the outside features just about any way you want them. Uh, everything here, like this uh, uh, molding under the window, is made out of foam, drew foam. And it's coated with a product uh, that will it virtually last forever. Foam is an inert product, and if you went out here and buried it in the ground, dug it up a hundred years later, it looked just like it does today. Uh, the foam is a modified product uh, that is treated for any insect uh, uh, problems uh, on the front end. Of course, we still at best put ter do termite work as you uh, pour the slab. Uh, John, what other items can you think of that are outstanding about the house? Well, uh, it, it has a, um, a fire um, retardant in it as well with the modified EPS. Uh, also, the uh, insulation, uh, will it's, it's a solid material, so your insulation never settles. Uh, you don't get any molds on the interior walls. And uh, with all the molding, as Zach had pointed out, is you can put any shape or design onto the house. So it's uh, very economical to do that. All right, we're going to take a brief tour of the exterior of the house, and then from there we'll go to the interior. All right, this house can be finished uh, using any construction uh, method. You can use uh, bricks, you can use vinyl siding, and on this particular house we've used um, stucco, and uh, we've got a rock facade a cobblestone rock facade on it. Um, the uh, roofing is, uh, we have an optional uh, roofing system that's made out of metal that can be put on uh, in-house and shipped out to the job site with the roof in place. Or you can go traditional roofing with just uh, plain shingles. Uh, your windows are pre-cut into the foam for the, um, to receive the windows and the doors. They come with uh, metal reinforcing, and um, that comes as part of the kit. The house uh, goes up very quickly. It is uh, prefabricated in panels um, at the fabrication site, and uh, goes up very quickly. Uh, this particular house we put up in four days. Uh, that is from the standing of the walls up to the dry-in. That's the roof included. So it's. Uh, it doesn't take much uh, skill labor. There were four people involved putting this house up, and only one of them could read a tape measure. 
panel, the panels come uh, tongue and grooved uh, as well as the roof system so that it's a pretty simple process uh, to put it all together. It, it's not uh, complicated at all. And uh, uh, as John said, it goes up very quickly the, to get to a dry end stage. And, th and these houses can be finished, uh, and I think he said this earlier, uh, with any conventional finish that you'd want to put on the exterior or interior. If you go in, when we go inside, uh, you can finish them with sheetrock uh, or, and paint or wallpaper or, or tile on the floor or no tile on the floor. Just whatever your budget uh, is to, uh, to make to fit your taste. A lot of the molding that's on this house uh, is, is made in, at Drew Foam uh, here in Monticello. And as you can see, we have a, uh, an eyebrow with a keystone in it over the window. Uh, all the uh, window sills, the tops, the uh, molding that goes along the sides of the uh, soffits are all made out of foam. As you can see on this one end here, we have a cross section. You can see how the foam is on the inside of it and is coated with a concrete uh, material uh, with, with a mesh in it. And, and that cross section will, will be uh, finished. We just left it that way so that uh, people could understand uh, what, how the material looks. All right, let's go inside. Go ahead, John. Thank you. Welcome to the inside of the house. Uh, the interior, as you can see, the outer, outer walls are all going to be uh, foam, EPS. The ceilings are all uh, elevated. We have um, an open house in here. Everything's contained within the shell. So your AC system doesn't have any leaks into the attic, which makes it uh, that much more energy efficient. The uh, interior walls, the partitions, the rooms are all conventional. Uh, construction, you can do it with wood, wooden studs or metal studs and uh, just finish with regular sheetrock. The same applies to the outer walls. Um, on all the outer walls we do have a uh, screw boss that you can attach your sheetrock to it. And um, as you can see the windows uh, have a 12 inch depth and that is the actual uh, size of the foam that the walls are made out of and that's throughout the perimeter of the house. That includes the uh, roof as well. So your roof is st uh, steel and foam. And every two feet we have a steel member that runs through it. And that's the strapping that um, Zach had mentioned earlier goes through that uh, from one side of the wall over the roof and down the other side of the wall. And, and John, I might point out that the molding in here is also made out of foam and is uh, a coated product. That Drew Foam makes, uh, and that that molding could be any shape, just about that uh, you might want. The crown molding I'm referring to. Right. This particular house is about 1,400 square feet. It's a smaller house. It has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and here you can see is one is one of the bedrooms that's been converted into a, an office as well as a TV room. What we've done in this house on the sheetrock is instead of having our square edges on the sheetrock, we have, have a rounded radius edge on there, and uh, that comes as a, an add-on that um, is, is standard in the industry. It just gives it a, a, nice, uh, a nice softer feel to, to, to the whole structure. Uh, as I said earlier, we have two uh, bathrooms in, in the house. Uh, they're both full. And uh, as you can see, the ceilings have been dropped here. And what we do is we run our duct work. Uh, it becomes a chase for uh, electrical as well. But this is the second bedroom right here. It's a little smaller. Um, it's, uh, there again, it has the elevated ceilings. And this is typical of all the rooms, with exception, as we said earlier, where the bathroom's in the passageway. There's no one that's really living in this house, so it's a little bit sparse on furniture and furnishings. Uh, uh, John is temporarily uh, living here, so uh, that's the reason. And in this particular room, we have not put up the crown molding yet, and there is the crown molding that will go up that's uh, in the corner over there, which gives you an, a good idea of what it looks like before it's uh, uh, installed. That's styrofoam. That's 
star. Well, we don't call it styrofoam. It's not <laughs> styrofoam, but it is uh, uh, polystyrene foam okay. made of drew foam, and drew foam makes that, uh, that uh, molding. And he has the uh, second bathroom uh, we have in the house. It's en suite to the master bedroom. And this is the third and final bedroom of the house right here. It's the, the master bedroom. It has, has a his and hers closet. And um, as you can see, the uh, crown molding is up in this particular room. And there again, the spaciousness because of the ceiling line. We took a tour of Drew Foam to see what part they play in building these homes for concrete and foam structures. Let's take a look. We start with a raw bead that's supplied from several different places, Canada, Korea, uh, some in the United States. We go through an expansion process and a molding process, which turns that bead into a log, which I will show you when we get out here in the log warehouse. That is our, our billet, as they're referred to sometimes. From that, we cut down into our actual sizes that are used for our various customers. Okay, we, after they're molded, the logs come out into, into this product you're seeing here which are approximately 24 feet long. Those logs are made in various densities from one pound to three pound densities depending on the, the customer's needs. We also can make special size logs depending on our needs from a cutting standpoint to maximize our yields. These logs will go into the cutting department which we're fixing to go into right now. Yeah, now once, once the logs are brought into the cutting process which is what you see here, they are sliced down and cut down to various sizes. Then they go to our eye or our shaping department, which we'll go see next, which can cut circles, diameters, triangles, so forth that are used in the house business. This is where the house parts are cut. We can cut angles, circles, so forth and so on. This is an example of a smaller version of some of the parts that we would cut for the houses. This is the area where we take trim and base coat it. We'll base coat it to uh, give it a stucco surface. We make interior and exterior trim here. We also do art type work. Over here to the right, you see some columns. You would actually take this foam, put it around an I-beam on a building, and it would create the appearance of a concrete column. Then we took a tour of concrete and foam structures facility with President John Barge showing the way. Showing some of the ways the homes are put together and the quality that goes into every home. Right, once the parts are cut over at Drew Foam, they come into this department. We receive them and we bring them in for fabrication. Uh, what we do is we insert uh, metal into them. We, we pre-drill. We've got a method for clamping system where we drill holes into them. and. Um, that is for when we stand, stand it up, and we'll show you the process in a minute. This over here is the, um, the drilling section where they drill the holes through. And uh, this is a specialized drill bit that goes all the way through to the other end. And we drill two, two holes into the foam. From here, we bring it down. We insert the metal. And uh, we actually clean the metal. This is a 20 gauge uh, uh, 2 by 6 uh, metal stud. Uh, we clean that out off with denatured alcohol and spray an adhesive on it, which we pick it up, insert it into the block right here. So this is the 20 gauge metal. It has glue on it. We pressurize it in, into, into this right here and it's ready for storage. Uh, from here, we'll go over to the roofing station where we glue the soffit and the uh, roofing member together. All right, this is our gluing section. Uh, this is where the cornice, or the soffit piece, comes in. It's pre-cut. Um, what this does is it aligns the whole system, and we glue these surfaces, bond it all together right here. And uh, we have a strapping device that goes around, holds it in place while it's drying, and, and it goes over to the storage area. Uh, once that's done, uh, we have an option to where we put metal roofing on, or you can just do conventional roofing um, in the field. Pleated roofing section right here, you can see the metal has been inserted and glued in place. 
on both sides of this, and this is what goes up as, as the roofing section. Uh, these two pieces are actually glued together once they in place on the roof, so it becomes a solid roof that you have up there. This is a metal uh, 26 gauge uh, standing seam that we've pre-installed in the factory, and it, your house goes out pre-roofed. All right, now this is a through section of the house. It's in miniature, it's half size. Uh, this is to show you the metal studs that are in the walls, the vertical walls. Your roofing section actually seats over the top of your uh, wall section. And the metal band goes from the bottom all the way up through the top and down the other side. And this is what gives it its strength for uh, wind loading and snow loading as well. The inside of the house, you can see all those little metal strips. Uh, that's where you can attach your sheetrock to that on these strips right here. And also your windows come out, they are, 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 are pre-set up with a metal to receive your window. All right, this is a full-size section of the house right here. What we do before, we ship anything out, we put all the parts together and make sure that they work. Uh, you can see the, the metal up in the wall section right here. This is the actual um, width of the, of the uh, panel. You can see how the roof se section sits over the top. And these holes that are drilled in it right here, if you can just take them around to this side right here, you can see that we have a device that we pull the whole house together, and this is why the glue sets. So we can put one panel up after another, and this is why we can rapidly build this house. We can dry it in four days. Uh, the, the wall is very solid. You can see uh, it won't gather any mold, and it uh, is virtually maintenance free. Right, get hold of us. Uh, if you are interested in a house like this, you can call us. Uh, telephone number is 870-367-3214. Uh, you can uh, contact us through email, which is cfsstructures at gmail.com. And uh, those are the, the two best ways to get hold of us. Uh, we have a website you can go on to for, for more information. And it is at www.concreteandfoamstructures.com. Concrete and foam structures, energy efficient, low cost housing, and Energy Star approved.